Welcome back to another episode of Time to Get Social. Today we're talking about something a little bit different, but I think it's gonna be very valuable to all my business owner friends and business owner viewers. And that's something that's been on everybody's mind lately. And that is, is a recession coming? Unfortunately, I don't know, I wish I did, but what I can tell you is a few tips and strategies that you can use to survive a recession. If you're serious about building a brand, it's, it's a year by year. Billion dollar businesses actually have been built already on the back of just social media. Now listen, I don't have a crystal ball, so I can't tell you when exactly a recession is coming. All I can say is I'm relatively certain one will happen, and that's just because in the past, they always do. It's impossible to go up forever. Now, what's scary about this is as a business owner, recessions bring a ton of uncertainty, right? Are you gonna lose your entire customer base? Are you gonna go right down to zero revenue? Are you gonna go bankrupt? Are you gonna, you know, what's gonna happen in a recession? And the reality is, yeah, it's hard for a lot of businesses. But the upside is it's not completely out of your control. And history is always a great teacher. So when we look back at businesses in the past, we can see which ones have done things right and which ones have done things wrong. And actually some of the best businesses in the world, you'll realize the majority of their fortunes were created during recessions. And this is the truth. You can Google Warren Buffett talking all about this. Um, recession is usually a time of great opportunity. And that's something that I wanna talk about today. Because what I can tell you is how you can leverage a profitable marketing strategy to get through a recession and come out of that recession well ahead of your competitors. So before we start talking about what you as a business owner can do, let's look at what people as individuals tend to do in a recession. So a recession hits, right? The first thing that happens is people stop spending. Well before they run out of money or they're actually financially impacted, they start holding on to every dollar they have. They cut expenses, they try to get rid of unnecessary bills, they put all their money in their savings account, they sell off their stocks, everything you can imagine to kind of gain that feeling of security, reduce that feeling of, oh, I'm overexposed, I might lose here, they start doing. And what happens is everyone goes into this contraction or recession, which is actually the most dangerous thing in a recession. It's the people that are, by thinking about recession, also creating recession. Right? Because they're not spending money and they're bringing the economy to a halt. They're hoarding, hoarding, they're just piling it all in, they're keeping it to themselves, they're afraid to do anything with their money. And that makes things worse because when they're not spending, that means business owners like you are not getting paid, right? Especially, you know, services that are non-essentials. That's the first things they're gonna get cut, right? I was gonna say like your Netflix subscription, but I feel like most of the world probably won't cancel the Netflix subscription because that's just the society we live in and priorities are all over the place. But nonetheless, unessentials will be cut. Now that's what consumers do. That's what individuals do. They stop spending. It's the same thing that bad business owners do. A recession hits and bad business owners stop spending. They cut their marketing budget. They cut their advertising spend. They stop spending on creative things like content, video, social media, branding, PR, radio, TV. All that stuff gets cut. What happens when you do that? Nothing, nothing. You've basically eliminated all the weapons in your arsenal you had as a business owner. You've strapped yourself to a stick of dynamite and you're just waiting for things to blow up because that's what's gonna happen. With no marketing, with no advertising, with no brand, you're not being a smart business owner. You're actually stopping all the streams of new business, of new revenue, which is gonna hurt you in an economy that already your existing clients are gonna do the same thing you're doing, which is cut their expenses, which will mean less customers, existing customers leaving, less repeat business, right? That's what's gonna happen. And that's what bad business owners do. They do the same thing that individuals and consumers do. In a recession, they recede, they go inward, they contract. And there's only two states of being in business or in life, and it's either expansion or contraction. So what can you do? And it's very simple. It's not gonna take long to explain. In a recession, you need to market. You need to spend money. And there's a few benefits to doing this. One is 
You need to keep a constant stream of customers. You're gonna be losing them faster than ever. You need to bring them in faster than ever. It's not the time to cut back, it's the time to spend more. And business leaders like Robert Kiyosaki just had a whole bit on this. He talked about it in one of his last books um, where he was saying, you need to spend money. That's your opportunity. Not only because you need to, to survive, you need that stream of customers, but also guess what? None of your competitors are doing it. All your competitors, all the other bad business owners that are competing with you are cutting back. They're spending less. They're shutting down their advertising. They're stopping with their media production. They're stopping with their social media. It's your opportunity now to actually exceed them. The market is now yours for the taking in a recession. And guess what? Even if you have to, and, and this is from some of the, I'm not giving you financial advice, but from some of the top, top business leaders in the world, billionaires, right? Saying that the most profitable time in their business is during a recession because they'll borrow. Even if they have to borrow, rack up their credit cards, they will do anything to spend as much money as they can because guess what? As all their competitors fall by the wayside and slow down and stop marketing, they steal all this market share. The market is yours for the taking. And when you come out of that recession, you'll have all these new customers and revenue to pay off that debt. Whereas your competition that just saved all their money will have a few extra dollars in their bank account and less debt, but no customers. They just lost the market to you. So in my situation, what I would do in a recession is I would market like crazy. I would outmarket every other marketing company, every other agency, which by the way, other marketing agencies for some reason sell marketing, but never seem to do their own marketing. They don't practice what they preach. I definitely like to practice what I preach. And during a recession, I would spend more money than I ever have on advertising. I would create more content. I would post more on social. Uh, I would do all of this stuff. I would not stop one bit because I know the rest of my competitors would be clinging to their wallets, shutting everything down. And I would steal every single customer in the marketplace that I could in that time. Even if I had to rack up hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt, because at the end of that, guess who's coming out on top? They're gonna come back. I have all the customers, they have nothing who's gonna win, right? And that's what successful business owners have always done in a recession. So you need to start figuring out, do you have a strong marketing plan in place? In a recession, do you have a marketing system, an engine that you can put $100 in and $200 comes out? Or $100 goes in and $1,000 comes out every single time? Because our clients already have that system, I already have that system, do you have that system? That is the solution to get through a recession. And we know a recession is coming, we don't know when, it could be this year, it could be next year, and it could be the end of your business if you don't approach it properly. If you act like those other bad business owners who are retreating, who are saving, right? So that's my advice to get through reception. Reception. That's my advice to get through a recession. That's exactly what you need to do. If you have any questions about that at all, reach out anytime. Thanks so much guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you valued this video at all. I hope it was helpful. And feel free to drop that comment down below and just tell me what you think. Am I wrong? Am I right? Is this the right approach? Maybe you should save your money. I disagree, but I'm open to conversation. And as always, if you're looking for help and you wanna build that marketing strategy and you wanna get these profitable ad campaigns going for your business, reach out anytime or visit us at www.suitsocial.com. That link will be down below in the description as well. I'll see you next week on Time to Get Social.